So I just want to make sure I'm getting my guns up. Here we are. Okay, good. So we're at 50 right now. So I think this time we're going to take the Scoundrel perk, which helps influence more barter, uh, as well as that. Because I believe that there's somebody who will pop up right here. I believe, yep, yeah, there he is. Those monsters. No, those things will get me. You won't leave. You know, huh. maybe this will help, and maybe it won't. But Papa hid a bunch of stuff behind the old diner and the dumpster. He trusted me with the key, and said it was for emergencies. But I bet he wouldn't... Well, there is the per... Papa always said to stay away from it. But I'll head over there and wait... Okay, good. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that eventually. So that's another quest. It's called those. So little quest. So we need to find his father. But there are raiders and such to loot over here now. So the best part of the skill perk is that you actually get to pick up raider armor and everything else. Here. I don't know why there's radioactive barrels here. I'm not too certain. It is kind of strange, though. I gotta admit. So I'm just going to loot a little bit more. Okay, so let's head inside. So now expect to find some enemies. It's normal to find a couple enemies in here. Um, try and make sure you at least get some loot. Scope on it. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna sneak around this way. These are pistols. You wanna pick up everything you find pretty much, just pick it all up. So you could stay fully hidden in this, or you yeah. It's all up to you really, so we have some energy cells in there. Some vodka. Some raiders patrolling. So those raiders kind of just are like patrolling around here. Okay, I want to be quiet as possible until you're done looting. The well, hockey mask is probably worth a little bit, I'm imagining. Okay, I'm just checking to see what time it is. I'm trying to find food. And food is a good source of money as well. You're going to find that food is going to be worth quite a bit of cash. We found food, but we can also find medicine in here, which I really want want slash need. So now we're going to pick a fight with the raiders. Here's where it gets pretty tedious. Hi, you bitch. Come on, I was trying to kill you. Okay, let's reload really quick. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Okay, they're retreating, they're retreating. So she's going to go over there, he's going to come over here and try to get over here. Yeah. This is an interesting place for him to stand here. Now if he just holds still, I can get him. Okay, got more. Oh god. We're getting double teamed here. No, they're not that hard to kill. Oh, honestly, they're pretty easy to kill. Are you shitting me? You had to take off like an... an Oh my god, that's a lot of ammo we just used up for no reason. Sure, did he go in there? He is. Oh, bitch. oh fuck you, too. Yeah, let's take him out. Oh, this just got pwned up in here. Okay. So, now. You can finish looting the store. You guys can see I took quite a bit of damage, but I used some stems. So the Junk Town Jerky Vendor, you're going to find lots of goodies in here. Watch out. This place is loaded with goods, if you know where to look. Fortunately, we don't have the average skill yet. We don't have the easy skill yet, either. So now what we're going to do is we're not going to finish up just yet. We still need to look for a, um, 
So there's gonna be goose. So you're gonna still find a lot of food and other goodies in here. Like that. I just see how much food I just found. So you're gonna find a lot of good stuff in here. Just keep your eyes open. That's really all I can tell you, is just keep your eyes open. Absolutely loaded with stuff at most points. I remember like like I remember watching YouTube videos of this game like a couple of years ago. I was I found it just amazing, like Oh, we got raiders still. Oh man, we got two left? God, there are some raiders still left over, I guess. Ah, oh, so these are the sniper wielders. Bitches don't want to hold still. Unfortunately for him, he can't shoot nearly as fast as I can. So I basically just overwhelmed him with extreme power. Okay, now you see I'm over in comfort, right? Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. So instead of using my extremely valuable stim packs to heal myself, I will be first repairing these things together to make it easier for me to carry back. And then we're going to be eating food. There's very many things. Dirty waters, dog meat, all this is basically just food items anyway. I regained quite a bit of health. So it's a good idea to check these bathrooms out as well. These bathrooms sometimes, sometimes contain some good stuff. Free bottle caps, I mean, it's money, right? You only want to take, like, at the most drugs in most of these, because that's where what's in most of the stalls, is drugs. I don't know why they do drugs in the back. I'm not too certain because of it, but whatever, right? Ha! <laughs> whatever goes. Okay, that's that. Let's check this bathroom. I'm just scrounging for every little drug I can find because at the beginning of the game, you really kind of have to. It's it's really it's kind of mandatory that you scavenge in the beginning. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll find quite a bit of goods in the beginning, but not always. You know, it all depends. Give okay, me look at all the speeches I've been completing. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we're not gonna leave just yet. Okay, here's another way to get a lot of money really quickly if you need it. This is by looting these cash registers. You'll even find bobby pins at point at some point. Sometimes you even find bobby pins is what I'm trying to say. Sometimes you'll find pre-war money. Extremely valuable because it doesn't require anything to carry. And sometimes you'll even find bobby pins with them, which is extremely nice as well for when you break your own. Because you guys can tell I haven't broken any just yet, so. Okay, now, for a new objective, we still need to find a key or something. So, in theory, there has to be something to get into that place without having to use more drugs. That would be kind of counterproductive. What I want to do is I want to look around for a key. A key, a pharmacy key is what we're looking for. Let's go check over on one of these little cubicle things. There's only a few of them, so. Okay, well, I'm going to end the part off here, guys, and I'll see you back when we're ready to go.